members in Johnny Mirage, Daphne Paris, Rudy Rambran, and Saida M. Carras decided to discuss the effects, precautions, and preventative measures of the oil spill that occurred at the Guaracara River, Point of Bear, Trinidad. The oil spill not only affected the citizens and animals, but had a great impact on the fishing industry. The economy was tremendously affected. The citizens of that area developed serious health conditions, such as respiratory problems, nausea, headaches, and even possible miscarriages of good. Families with little children had to evacuate their comfortable homes because of this oil spill. I strongly suggest to the oil company of Trinidad and Tobago to take preventative measures and ensure all their pipelines and tanks are serviced and updated so this disaster do not occur in the future. On the following on Friday has been issued to the residents of the Marbella area following the oil spill in the Garakara River last week. Avoid areas where oil can be seen. Avoid direct contact with oil, oil contaminated water and sediment. Clean areas immediately with soap and water if direct contact was made. Any resident experiencing nasal discomfort or vomiting, please seek medical assistance. Children, the elderly and pregnant women must be monitored for negative reactions to the odor. The environmental impact of an oil spill is immediate and devastating. The sticky substance clings to everything it comes in contact with and quickly spreads toxic fumes and goo everywhere as seen at Guaracara and Labre in recent months. Contact with the crude results in damage to animals, habitats and ecosystems. Toxic levels in animals cause their deaths as well as poisoning further up the food chain. The oil residue can live beneath the surface of beaches and seabeds, severely affecting marine organisms that provide food for other animals. Preventing oil spills requires preparedness and continuous improvement in every phase of operations where oil is produced, transported and stored. Exploration and production departments should incorporate data from previous spills to use with advanced technology, materials and practices to prevent future spills. Computers, electromagnetic instruments and ultrasonic devices that detect Weak spots are used to monitor pipelines so they can be repaired before a leak develops. The design of cargo vessels, marine terminals must be improved. Tankers built with double hulls and storage tanks are constructed from special materials that withstand corrosion. But by far the most critical aspect is having competent workers. The necessary training, proper protective equipment, and the right tools must be provided in order to strive towards acceptable standards of health safety.